Quranic snapshots, illustrated reflections on an ayah a day and a structure to support your own Quran journaling. We're on just four and today's verse is from Surah Ali Imran, ayah 185. Kullu nafsin iqatul maut. Every soul will taste death. Some of us may return to Allah earlier, others later. It doesn't matter how rich, poor, famous we are, we will all leave. I think it's interesting that Allah uses the word taste, to taste death. What will the taste of death be? Will it be a sweet experience or a bitter one? This will depend on the kind of life we have led, for we will die in the way that we have lived. Allah reminds us of death frequently in the Quran, but to me, it seems that the focus isn't so much death as it is life, because remembering death is supposed to change the way we live in this life, and it is to remind us of the everlasting life to come. I love the hadith by our Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, where he says, the people on the earth are just guests, and everything they have is a loan. This world is not our permanent home, we are just passing by. Every physical thing we've gathered gets left behind, and the only thing we get to take with us are our deeds. Thinking about death reminds us of the bigger picture, that our time here is limited, and that preparations need to be made for our actual home. This verse reminds us that life is a gift and a treasure, and reflecting on death makes us conscious about the way that we live. Let's pick out some of the key words to help us remember and record this passage. Thaiqa, from the Arabic root word meaning thaqa, to taste, and moat, meaning death. Having little doodles helps us to remember the words better. You can choose any image that helps you. I've got a fork and knife for taste, and a headstone for moat. Lay yours out however you like. I record the juz number as a title at the top, and I like to write the verse in both the Arabic and the English. Down here I've got our key words to help me remember the verse. The most important part, I think, is a space for you to write your own reflection on the verse and what it means to you. And the intention part is for our own personal takeaway, a practical step that we can make to apply this verse. Perhaps we could start the morning with the remembrance of death and feeling gratitude for simply being alive. So go ahead and jot down today's passage however you like, remembering to put in your key words and little doodles to make it easier to remember. It would be amazing if we can use this space to inspire each other. Share your Quranic notes in the comments below and inshallah we can all learn together.